Hello, I'm James Cornelius, curator of the Lincoln Collection here at the Abraham Lincoln Presidential Library in Springfield, Illinois. For the month of September, we are focusing on a very unusual and very rare object of Lincoln history. This is known as an effigy doll. It's a doll made of cloth, made up to look like President Abraham Lincoln. The closest thing we have to it today probably is voodoo dolls. Abraham Lincoln was the most unpopular president in American history. Measured by the low percentage of the popular vote that he received in 1860 when he was first elected, less than 40 percent, and by the public hostility and the assassination threats to him for his war policy and for his emancipation policy. This doll is known as an effigy doll. It was burned in effigy at Lincoln, anti-Lincoln rallies. It was probably stuck with pins in some cases. People made them up for the purpose of defaming him. And we have newspaper reports from 1860 during the presidential campaign spanning the country really from Georgia, from Ohio, from Oregon, in which Abraham Lincoln dolls were either thrown into bonfires or otherwise defaced. This one has a bit of an update to it because if you see his face closely, this paper mask of his face, he has a beard, which he did not have when he was running for president the first time, but he started growing a beard shortly before he was sworn in in 1861. So that this is an 1864 doll. Somehow it's saved. Somehow it was saved by its owner. Perhaps a new one was made for the 1864 campaign. This doll sits in a little purpose-made bed. I'm afraid it looks like a coffin where most of his detractors wanted him to be. But, in fact, it is there for preservation purposes. Very soft material in which this very delicate cloth item from the 1860s can sit. It's homemade. It's got the little black frock coat that Lincoln always wore with tan pants and a white shirt. The white shirt is a little bit yellowed now, as you can see. I will take it out. It has black hair, in fact. It had at one time paper hands that stuck out from the sleeves. Those have now torn off and been lost. We don't think it ever had feet. It simply has sticks here at the end to hold up the doll. And it is very realistic in those respects. There's one way in which it is not an accurate representation of Abraham Lincoln. I'm going to use this Civil War surgeon's tool to lift up the paper mask to reveal that underneath the face is black cloth. Lincoln was called by his enemies a black Republican. The whole Republican Party were known as black Republicans by their enemies because they were the party in favor of rights for blacks. Not in the sense that we understand it today when Lincoln was first elected, but because of the Civil War, his policy toward emancipation and then gradually of political and legal equality for blacks, formerly free or formerly slave, became his firm policy growing out of the war and of his lifelong conviction that slavery was wrong and that according to the Declaration of Independence, all men are created equal. 
those were not the views of the people who hated Lincoln. And so, with the 1864 mask on him, this was used again, but not burned, not ruined, apparently, in that campaign. Somehow it was saved. Lincoln's vote total when he was re-elected in 1864 was 55% of the popular vote. This was a big improvement over the less than 40% he had received in 1860. However, none of the southern states was voting in the 1864 election. So we think that Lincoln's overall popularity around the country probably dropped, but it was stronger in the North because his emancipationist policy was warming the hearts of enough Northerners that he was acceptable to a clear majority of them as their president once again. This type of hatred in American politics is hardly new in our day. It goes way back to the colonial era. The passions are great because the issues are great. There have been cases in which people have been accused of being members of another race based on their ideology. There are many cases in which some people wished the politician dead. Lincoln was the first president to be assassinated for his beliefs. We hope that does not ever happen again. This effigy doll reminds us that he died for a cause. He died thousands of times in the bonfires all over the place, north and south, for those opposed to his beliefs. We hope that won't happen again. We remember his ideals and the life he gave for them. This item came to the Presidential Library from the Louise Taper Collection. It is part of what we are calling our permanent home campaign. We are trying to raise money to help pay off the loan from this tremendous private collection. There will never be another one like it. We hope to keep it here in Illinois so that all can study it, all can enjoy it, all can see it. This has been in the museum. It will be in the museum again during the month of September 2011. Thank you for your support.